The question that is asked, my dear friend Anonymous, thank you for your ageless wisdom. Can you help me to understand that if we create our reality, why would a child choose to be trafficked, molested, or abused? I have never been able to understand this. They are so defenseless. My thoughts on the best way to cope with children suffering from trafficking, abuse, is to become more mindfully detached. All external forms, appearances, including people, nature, war, famine, pollution, violence, are illusory which is to say they're in a constant flux and therefore impermanent. They're unstable. Anything that is real cannot be injured, harmed in any way, or face death. Only illusions come and go. Allowing your mind to be attached and affected by the dualistic appearances being played out in the world will only be a recipe for personal suffering. It is important to align yourself with the formless realm of non-dual consciousness and see from a deeper space of witnessing. Life is a short-lived play of forms, a sacred dance of contrast, male, female, right or wrong, saint, sinner. All the world is a stage, and every actor must play their part. The world can be seen as relatively real to the mind and senses, but not absolutely real. Some may complain about war, the effects of pollution, racism, sexism, disease, or some may choose children as a way to focus their attention on being hurt and affected. But you have to realize that they are all the play of the divine. Once you realize that you are dreaming while asleep and become lucid, you come to the discovery that all of that within the dreamscape, these appearances may feel real, may seem real, but underneath it's all smoke and mirrors the dance of light and shadow. It's there for you. We only differ on the surface, but deep down we are all the same formless, all-pervasive I am presence. And it's important to be aware that anything that brings about emotional reactions or triggers in you is a great indicator that there is some part of you that's still tethered to form. You have to remind yourself that you are looking from a limited, fragmented perspective, and it's time to wake up from this polarized dream by becoming more integrated and present. If you resist and you hold on, it will only strengthen your false sense of self. It will keep you bound to form. Resistance can make the world feel more solid, this way you take your personal self and the world more serious and it tends to put heavier vibrations on your consciousness. Don't give any aspect of form any special credence. You can see and feel all things impartially with love, compassion, and empathy. But never miss that they all came from source deep within. This world is a projection of your consciousness. So you're going to have justice and injustice, happiness and sadness, times of joy and times of pain. The sweet is never sweet without the sour. You can't have one without the other. So do not give your presence power away. Rest in the indivisible truth of your being. This is your creation, and this is exactly how you design it. Nothing that is real can ever be hurt.
destroyed or harmed. Only appearances come and go. I hope this helps in some way.